beat the shit out of his ass. Nah, I don't care. Hey, dude, that's a real ass website. Hey. Dude, barbecue and foot massage. Jake just looked this shit up. <laughs> oh, no, something to Cicero. How the hell? Get some barbecue and a foot massage, huh? Boost pack into the store. You can't buy shit, man. So you gotta buy it. How much is this I don't know. What shit? I don't know. Cuts and swelling. Shit, that's why I be getting knocked the fuck out. My swelling is at 40. You know what? I don't care. I thought I could buy something with this shit, but I guess not. Yeah, we're gonna apply changes. <laughs> Look up. They like, yeah, right. I got four million dollars and can't do shit. Single one of his fights by knockout. Yeah, and I think the anticipation punches. in the air is twofold. What is? Hey, are they going to see another knockout? <laughs> the other is what happens if he hits his opponent and he's still there? He's swinging. What's the best punch for a tall puncher against a shorter puncher? Well, it's got to be the jab because the jab is the measuring stick. It makes sure that the taller man keeps that advantage. Make sure that the shorter yeah. man stays where he belongs. Chicken and real moan feet. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Nice two punch combo. And I gotta pay for the chicken because I'm gonna use my link card. I said I would use really the link card. Here, Teddy, coming off that last round. I mean, he laid down a beating to his opponent. Damn, but I fucked him up. Confidence can also be an enemy. Yeah, you could get a little bit of. Right, I'm over with my fucking careless, stomach to start you know, growling. You forget where you were earlier or forget what you do. Is it black people rubbing your feet or is it Chinese people? Oh, then I don't want no niggas. Things that you had to understand Hell as yeah. far as defensive some liability. Some nigga barbecue some Chinese that. people rubbing your feet. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Butler. Doubles up the jab to the head. Gotta stop picking. Oh. Pulls the 
trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Collins' defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Bad intentions is really walking a tightrope here. I mean, that's a foul. That's a headbutt right there. He could get DQ. He missed with that headshot. Oh, shit. Piercing jab by bad intentions. Butler is using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him. Uh oh, I'm going to lose. Joe, he has a real good wingspan. I mean, he's got those long arms. No better way to put him to use than to use that jab and use that jab at the right distance. Good double jab by Butler. That right hand over the top lands flush. And now he's targeting upstairs. And oh, what a good strong uppercut by Collins. Flush with the no, he said it was in Chicago, man. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Collins. Well, maybe it's all just a fucking joke. Right hand downstairs. Nice strike after catching one by Collins. You see the, <gasps> oh, he is stuck. He could go down. Bad intentions is still shaking after feeling that uppercut. Butler's got to do a better Woo! Job. I had to get the fuck out of Dodge. Look at your boy's face. Collins, well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy <sighs> some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying sure up a little like. bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught. I don't on care about Joe's barbecue and foot massage, dude. I was joking. You think I want to be trying to eat while somebody looking at my feet? Underway, but is it a fresh fight? Yeah, I'm Butler's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with. Because if he does, I think it's over. Combination to the head. Good defense, just covering up down low. He just missed that shot up top. Bad Intentions is showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. I'm trying to score. A solid uppercut by Collins. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Oh, shit. Yeah. Gotta move, gotta move around him. Butler oh. banged around by a big uppercut. Yeah, losing power. Two good jabs by Butler. Still no defense out of him. Still no ability to stop this onslaught. He's taking serious damage. And you got to worry about his future because the damage he's taking right now for tonight, okay, we understand that, but how is this going to impact him for the future? That's where you're starting to get into a danger zone right now. Last 10 seconds. Boxing. That's it. That's it. I need another round. Let me get a second. Like that, all right? Roll it over. You're doing fantastic. <laughs> Roll it across the car. Roll it across the carpet. Roll it across the carpet. So three rounds are in the books here. Roll it across the carpet. Bad intentions is up two oh, rounds man. to one on Teddy's Hurry scorecard. Up. Punch stats don't always tell the story. But in this case, he's been the busier man, throwing more punches. Yeah, but he's also had to do a lot more work just to keep his opponent off just to keep him defensive. Does that hurt him as the fight goes oh, on? Bring me a cigarette. Solid left they don't grab that. So I'm trying to play this plan around this. strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab 
fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense, it's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride, and it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. That's what he's doing, y'all. Power striking. Undefeated fighter coming into this fight. That's a big oh, right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Oh, Got you. Perfectly <laughs> executed combination. Collins is down. He's going to have to beat the count. Got him down once, though. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Bad intentions. His punch didn't come close. Collins left, working well that time. Not one, but two. Good work with the jab up top. Butler's doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, hey, you, you made a good point there, because right now... Oh! Can you believe that? What a change in momentum. Oh. He just got rocked moments ago. He was the one hurting his opponent. One reminds you of this song, I can do anything you can do. I don't care. Only better. That's a razor-sharp uppercut by Collins. Count down the final moments of this round. That was a great round we just saw, Teddy. And that, this is why I'm glad I do my job, not yours. Hey, you have yeah, to yeah. score that round. Yeah, I have to score it, but they have to figure out why they both got shaken up and make sure it doesn't happen again. Close round, but the good news, more to come for audience. Forceful two-punch combo by Butler. Very that was the left hand Come here, that came raining in on him. Solid. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. Got them combos. Look at his arm. Look at his arm. This resilient up from the canvas may inspire him. Overhand right can be so effective. And an excellent uppercut by Butler. Collins is left now getting into the mix. I know he hurt. Butler's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Collins known as a brawler. He's known as a slugger. Right now, that's not working out. He's doing a poor job in these middle rounds. Well, he picked the wrong guy to fight that kind of fight with. You know, he's got a good boss, a guy that throws straight punches. And he throws round punches, straight punches, beating the round punches. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable me, to land it. Butler's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. And that's the end of round five. Let me paint this picture for you. You got to figure out a strategy, and your fighter's down to one eye. Well, I hope that he read some history books. Or he watched the movie named 300. You saw that movie, oh, didn't yeah. you? Great movie about the Spartans where they were outnumbered, and they had to get the terrain right to fight. Them. Oh, he just dropped. He is level. How could he it's over. It's over. That? He's not going to. This fight's over. It's over. See, now he going to Joe's barbecue and foot massage now that we whooped his ass.
Pam Butler is a fat ass dude too. He finna go eat up everything and get his foot rubbed. You know he got calluses on the bottom of his shit. Look at his gut. Look at that clean dude clock. I'm going to get the bottom kill! Yeah. Right? 1-800 feet we looking at this nigga. Bad intentions is now celebrating a win and of course enjoying still holding out. Man, that I beat belt. the shit well, out of him. He told us Look. before the fight, Joe, that he envisioned himself keeping that belt. Well, he made that come true. I threw a, a total of 228 punches. Well, 430 and 228 landed. That's getting punched a lot of fucking times. I'll be through. Nine uppercuts, but I threw 143 jabs. That's why that nigga I was close. Looking like Popeye Pie little cousin. That's where he finna go, the Popeyes.